plays games with Steve and Angel. Okay. Okay. What are we going to do with that paper? God, everyone's just so sad right now. This yeah. Is, this is definitely like our lowest of the low right now. Mm-hmm. Everyone's got the sad music. Angel, what are we gonna do with that paper? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Uh, Wait, I don't think this is the right one. No, it doesn't matter. Why is there right two there. police officers? Um, okay. I'm gonna give it to Meekins. <laughs> he eats it. <laughs> oh, yeah! My favorite! <laughs> oh, you're back. You're back. Sorry. You're still here? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files, copying coffee, brewing files, turning to a regular DJ. You're a DJ as well? Dick Jumpshoe. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. Uh, oh, that DJ. Dang. I got in my ear persistency, but my answer is still no. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting you into the chief's office, period. It'd be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene in the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's gotta be something you can do to make the detective change his mind. <laughs> oh no, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Not a single thing ever will make me change my mind. No way, no, what's this crumbled up piece of paper? No, no way! Mr. Edgeworth can't be serious! He ever not serious? I can't believe they've pushed him this far. <gasps> Mr. Address really feels uh Mr. Elizabeth really feels responsible. At first I thought he was as cold as ice. But now I know different. He trusted us detectives to provide him with sound evidence. But we just we betrayed him. Detective. That's it. I made up my mind. But... Here, take my ID card. We can't do that. If someone found out... They won't let you off the hook with another lost item report. Look at me. It's no secret I'm already out of the loop. After all, I'm friends with Mr. Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. What? So at least let me do this. For Mr. Edgeworth's sake, Aww. Oh. All right, detective. Thank you. Don't patronize me. <laughs> Don't. I love gum <laughs> He does me. Does me not. He does me. Yeah, there's just like a, a lot of characters like just really kind of shining in this. Uh, mm -hmm. In this, in this episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this case. Here it goes, Mr. Wright. Click. Beep. And the bombs go off. <laughs> oh, the shield. Open sesame. It is I, the evil Pyborgan. Oh, <laughs> Forte. I've, ne I've never seen those sequels. So. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's only, he's only one of them. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm, I don't think any of them are actually pretty good, so... Cinderella 3 is actually good. That's what I hear. That one's really funny. Yeah. If anyone finds us now... Detective Gumshoe's a goner. If that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. That's why you don't punch me in the head. I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. Ah! Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing sneaking up on us like that? I, I, I wasn't sneaking. I was just worried something might go wrong. So I came too. If you're here, then what's the point of giving us- What's the point in giving us your ID card? Oh yeah. Couple of Gumshoe's ID cards. I guess I don't need this anymore. <laughs> hey, don't do that to my card! It's not even laminated, pal. <laughs> oh, God. I still have the job. I hardly ever get a chance to come in here, so I figured I'd have a look around myself. Besides, we're all in this together now. The best friends club. All in this together. Really do want to get hot fire, don't you? Not if we're lucky. Now come on, let's see what we can find out. 
Got a bad feeling about this. Do we do, do I mean, do we talk to him at all? Or do we just look around? That desk on the other side of the room. Is that your sister's? Yes. That's where I was waiting for Lana. On that day, two years ago. Anyone using it now? No, sir. This is entirely Chief Gant's office now. He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. That's a strange reason to leave it there. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert. He told us so himself at our New Year's party. Of course, he was pretty intoxicated at the time. I see. So, ever since Lana left, no one ever touches that desk? No one except Chief Gant. And the cleaning lady who's in here every uh, each morning. Still, two years have passed since that incident. There can't possibly be any clues remaining. Can I ask you something? <laughs> Over here? <laughs> sure. You only came here to look around, right? Because it's one of the SL9 crime scenes? I mean, that's your only reason for coming here, isn't it? Uh, Why do you ask? Uh, you don't think... Uh, nah. Hey, you wouldn't be... Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, there's no way. Uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now then, let's look around a little bit more. Hey, hold on! Not so fast, buddy! Huh? What is it? When someone tells you, don't worry about it, it's supposed to start bothering you, pal! You don't just let it go with that! S sorry. This guy's starting to get on my nerves. Okay, so what's bothering you? You two don't think, uh, Chief Gant might be a suspect, do you? What? Yeah, Mr. Wright, what do we think of him? Chief Gant. So it's finally come to this. What do I think of him? Perhaps it's best I don't divulge my feelings yet. You have a crush on him? There he goes, ignoring me again. <laughs> you like him. No. No. Okay, well, there's a lot to look at. This is the real deal, isn't it? This armor and these weapons? Sure is, pal. The chief doesn't care for imitations. First the pipe organ, now this armor? Do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone into this room? What? You mean we're paying for this? That's it. I'm not paying one cent of my taxes. a girl. <laughs> you don't have any taxes to pay. Shh! Be careful what you say. Who knows? The chief may be hiding in this arm as we speak, or the IRS. Oh God, I don't think he'd fit in there. Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. Cut it out! You guys don't know how scary that guy can be. This is a what? This is... this is a safe, isn't it? A uh, safe. That word is ripe with intrigue. Uh, okay, if you say so. Looks like a code needs to be entered into those panel to open it. Let's guess. Oh, shit. Um, the code. Seven digit number. I think I That's must. The... Oh. I think I might know what it is. Um. Try I... it! I have a idea. Do it! Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. Oh, I know. You want to try my birth date? It's. I want to know what his birthday is. I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. What's it gonna be, Angel? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> it's turkey day already. Wow. More like Axis Ganted. Oh. <laughs> Bingo. Just a little voice done from the thing. Access Ganted. Or <laughs> Access Ganted. <laughs> you hear the little claps. Yeah. <laughs> what number did you enter? Whose birthday was that, pal? 
Seven, you know seven. someone born in the year 7,777? <laughs> the future? Yeah, on the 77th day. July 77th? Oh my god, yeah. 7777777. The final ID card number on that record. What? Number of the mysterious executive officer who entered the room that day. You mean... 777777, that ID number? I think you're one seven shy this time. This can only mean one thing. That's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Yeah, that's what... No. This feels a little illegal, but okay. Is there any money in there? How much does he have stashed away? <laughs> oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Look, it's a... Uh, How about a 40-40-20 split? Well, okay. A shot from a broken cup. This somehow looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Do you remember? Something else Do on you? YouTube? Do you? Oh. What's, what's this? Looks like a piece of leather cloth. This is a handprint, isn't it? Hey, I saw someone wearing a shirt like that once. You think the chief made up the design? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, it was just a thought. Is that it? This is all that was in that safe? Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it. And the broken shard from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence. Well, unless you can prove they have something to do with this case. I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great. Now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. How are these two items related to the SL9 incident? Come on, there's gotta be something we can show the detective. Um. Come on! Can I look at anything else here? Would you say it's important at all? This was Lana's desk. It sure is tidy. Lana's always been a meticulous cleaner. There's not even any dust on it. Looks like someone's still keeping it clean. Does Lana ever come back here? No. Chief Gant must still keep a cleaner memory of their partnership. They were the stuff legends are made of. Does he keep it in memory of her or in memory of the crime? Or is it the cleaning lady that you mentioned earlier that cleans it? No, that has nothing to do with it. Um, Winder. Should I going right? I don't know if you recall when you walked into the office before. Um, when we walked in the first time? Yes. Yes. Um. He put a paper away. Try looking at oh, his desk. Oh, Zaman. Wow, look at the size of Chief Gant's desk. Big for a big boy. Speaking of that, when we were here earlier... Oh, it's you two! <laughs> Chief Gant! He put that paper he was reading in his desk. I wonder what he was reading. Yeah, this looks like a list of evidence used in a case. A list of evidence? In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. Hey, look at the case name. Huh? SL9 incident? I wonder what this is doing here. Hold on, detective. Or hold on, detective. What did you just say? I wonder what this is doing here. Oh yeah, I said I wonder what. No, about evidence lists. Normally they're twice as long. Uh, that's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence. A half size list of evidence. Uh, Mickey. That list of evidence, it seems too short. <laughs> Most lists run twice as long. What would the other half of the list be doing here? I knew it. Chief must be hiding something about that case. It would appear so. so uh, go left again. I think there's something... Is the, there? That shelf by the window? I'm just curious. Sure. These shelves are mostly empty. Lana must have cleaned them out when she transferred over to the prosecutor's, the pro prosecutor's office. The professor's office. Prosecutors. 
There's a small picture frame on the left shelf. Shelf. It's so easy, is it? Hey! <laughs> This is, uh, no. <laughs> this is when Lana and I went to that theme park. Schmizneyland. Uh. <laughs> Schmizneyland. I don't know. Sorry, I, I, was just, I was just curious. I felt like that was probably a picture. I think now we gotta try to get that evidence from Gumshoe. Do you remember what the, what the evidence is that he's holding? Um, the... 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 Da, list, da. The, the, the list of evidence, boss? The what? The, the list of evidence? Yeah, what, what, what? No, no, not that. Didn't we just get that? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Go Remember, back. we found stuff in the safe. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, oh, we just need to show him maybe the list so that convince him to, uh, that that's evidence. Mm. Or do you mean the broken vase? That's well, there's finished. that. And what else was there? There was uh, there was the, the piece, right? And there what else was there? Um, I, So, like, there's, like, a handprint. What was it on? It was on leather. Okay. So, first, how can we convince him that the, the piece is relevant? What do we present? To Mr. Gumshoe, I what mean, do we I present the out of our stuff? Face, um, Marshall's prints. It's it, for me. It's the oh my god! Why is it? Oh my god! Wait. What are you, what are you doing, pal? It's it was like skipping like really okay. No, not I don't mean to skip that way. What? Okay, um, I'm like having trouble. Trying to figure out how the leather handprint is. Well, don't worry about that, that for from. now. Just do this first, then. Alrighty. Detective Gumshoe, you have another look at this jar. All of us put that back together. Oh, those were the those were the days. <laughs> and you knew where you were then. It's kind of early to be nostalgic. Wasn't this jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right. One of the shards had an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know, that fragment we just found? You mean this one that uh, was in the safe? <laughs> yes, that one. That was in the safe. That was in the- yes, that Those one. were the days! Uh... <laughs> ah! Now that you mention it, it's ringing a lot of bells. Let's see if it fits. No, I'm gonna leave it be. Here, let me see that shard. I'll take a crack at this. Oops. <laughs> Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie can do. Mr. Wright, here's some glue. Thank you. If I could piece this together again, <laughs> then Humpty Dumpty will be fine. Oh, my uh, God. It'll prove Chief Gant was knowingly hiding evidence. Here it goes. I like, I like to imagine they carried around this giant jar with them. Yeah. That's no 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 in other words, he concealed a piece of evidence from the SL9 incident. What? Hey guys, get a, you want to come and take a look at this? <laughs> oh god. What is it? This piece you just attached. It's different from the others. There's a reddish line on it. A reddish line? That's blood. I don't get it. Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? Hmm, that's a little sus. Uh, it's a little sussy. Now for the other piece. Uh... What What do you think you could use? Well, let's. If we use this, we can see if it is related. Oh. Um. Um. um, um. What is it? Detective Gumshoe. I'd like you to have a look at this. Oh, cotton ball and pepper, or marshmallow and pepper, yum! <laughs> hey, I know what that is, so you want to take some fingerprints? It's a great idea, detective. All right, go to town, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Oh my God. <laughs> go ahead, take my fingerprints. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're a grown man. Um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Huh? 
Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. I never joke. We're talking about the cloth we found in that safe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I knew that. The, the one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh, where's your sense of humor? Just wear your handprint. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Sprinkle the powder on the cloth. Then, once they've been absorbed to the prints, blow the rest away. What are you, my mom? <laughs> I have to be told a million times. My like, mom. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. Now, Phoenix, remember to you know, dust entirely for the prints and then blow carefully. Okay, mom, jeez. God. <sighs> okay. Trying to find crucial evidence, mom. God. <laughs> nice one. Sagwan, say excuse me. Mom, leave him alone. <gasps> Getting water. <laughs> Were your, your parents ever on your case for like manners? Um, I mean, if I was like really rude, yeah. probably. But oh. wait, no, what? Hold on. I remember one time my mom was like, "It's in, it's it's you know, it's not polite to point." And I'm like, "Well, how am I supposed to show you what I'm, I'm trying to it's trying to show you?" Don't read that direction. So I'm using all my fingers. I don't know. Ace Attorney has also has proved that it is polite to point. Oh, I, okay. Need more. Oh, wow. Barely anything. Hmm. Gave it my best shot. That kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? It doesn't look like we'll get a clear result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Which finger? Try have the tried? middle one. Yeah. For no reason. Ah, uh, it looks the clearest. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of thumb. I'm just saving you time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, I have a hunch. Who can it be? Who's your hunch? Wait a minute. Oh, you thought Damon? It was thought it was Damon Gantz. <laughs> oh, you thought it was Damon Oh, you thought it was Damon Gantz. Oh, Jack Marshall. Oh, it was Bruce Ooh. Goodman. Oh, Ben Beckman. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Bruce Goodman. Oh, Bruce Goodman. What the fuck? Bruce Goodman. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> what? <gasps> I've been hanging with the murderer. No. How can this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match? Whose fingerprints were they? Huh? Oh, uh, it seems the prints are too old. They aren't what? clear enough to get a match? They aren't clear enough to get oh. a match. Oh, I could just tell. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I thought they'd be Dark's prints. Psst! Hey, you! Over here! Okay. No, no, you stay over there. What's going on here? What are that kid's prints doing inside the chief's safe? Don't ask me. You, you're way too loud, man. She's gonna hear you. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. What are you guys talking about? Hey, hey, maybe you should uh, hold on to this. Uh, horses. We're talking about horses. Horses, oh man, aren't they fun? I love to ride a horse, go g giddy and yeah. up. Oh, I love it. Jake Marshall also shows up the window. Do I hear you talking about horses? <laughs> you didn't tell me about horses the whole time. <laughs> well, was I any help? Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. More like of horse. <laughs> oh. No, that's not very kind, is it? In other words, right? If it wasn't yeah. for his ID card, it would have been your slush. Yes. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Yee! Chief Gant! I didn't think you'd be back so soon. Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run right into a pole. <laughs> Just then I thought of a certain detective. Do you, do you mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Y yes, sir. Sorry. Oh, are you in the coat? Uh, me, sir? Uh, drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. But, sir... Now get out. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. We'll be on our way too then. Wait, you, the one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. M me, sir? I'd like a word with you. Oh, God. But, sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. You with the spiky hair? You're free to go. Mr. Wright? You didn't call me right -o. Uh, look, pal, if I've told you once, I told you a thousand times. The chief's office is off limits. Uh, but no, you just had to go stick it in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in his office. I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. It's hard to believe anyone could keep quiet about it all this time. Anyway, you listening to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. He's gonna start kissing the ass. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police want to ask her some questions. So she'll be busy for the rest of the day. I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over these past couple of days is absolutely nothing. Not a single useful thing. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. Who it is you're hiding behind those words. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. <laughs> it seems Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. I have to admit I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you are incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of is more like it. Hmm. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, whom may I ask is this person you're speaking of? The bellboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The one I am supposedly so frightened of. Something, what's this person's name? Uh, this guy. Take that. Well, Miss Sky. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you are addressing the chief prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about the circumstances? The Mongant. We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgeworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically, hiding and forging evidence. Of course. These are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possible investigated that evidence was... <laughs> me. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also one other, Damon Gant. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Shut up, 
proof. Show the proof. Show the proof. Uh, falsified it. This is a, this is a 9K. It's ripped in half, so only part remains. Ooh, falsified though. Um. I mean, hit hit is also you know. Okay. Yeah. Take that. Take that. I just found this in a safe in the chief's office. This jar piece and this strip of cloth. Oh, could I have presented any of that? Yes. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. I can go anywhere. The person <laughs> concealing evidence was none other, none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Touche, Mr. Wright. It's as, this you, uh, it's as you surmise. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Or perhaps I should say, follow orders. The guards are eating popcorn like, whoa, should I be here for this? <laughs> yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Although I can't tell you the details. I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to destroy the best girl be baby. In Berber? In fire, 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 my underwear car. Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes, you are not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk was broken. I discovered the, that I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. The knife from the SL9 incident. Serial killer Joe Dark's knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. That would be Edgeworth's knife? That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that is the reason for the bandage on your right hand? Yes. It seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Starr... Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? It took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever, I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So you hid Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth's exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what had happened. And to ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident about Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seemed that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade on his own. Oh, 
Do you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card. But it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had just... he had must have disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? It's so funny that, like, the only sprites we ever see ever are, like, perfect, like, flipped angles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana... You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial. There's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything. Detective Goodman's real murderer. And what went down in the chief's office two years ago. Mm, so oh, intriguing. To be continued. Couldn't think of a better cliffhanger to end an episode on. Oh. See you tomorrow. <laughs>